Hello everyone, I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today we will be discussing basics of microscopy. In this particular topic, as you can see, I have this uh, beautiful slide that I have designed and uh, I will go through the content uh, one by one. Every concept I'm, I'm going to detail out. Uh, here you can see I have, I have uh, explained the microscopy, microscopes, what are the contribution of the scientists in the area of microscopy the important scientific contribution by Robert Hooke, by Anton van Leeuwenhoek. I have also discussed the design of the microscope and what are the significance of his, his design, basically. So we are going to discuss some of the important topics, some of the introductory topics and the basics of micro microscopy. I will come up with uh, some of the, uh, the basics uh, also related to the technique of the microscopy. So please stay tuned and watch all these videos. Uh, I'm sure these videos are going to help you to understand the microscopy better. All right, let's start the video. Okay, so we're going to start the video by, by writing the title of the topic, which is basics of a microscopy. So in this one, first I'll explain the difference between microscopy and the microscope. I'm sure many of you many of you already know what is the difference between the microscopy and the microscope. So I'll, I'll start with the microscopy. As, as uh, you're seeing, the title is the basics of microscopy. So what is microscopy? What do you understand by microscopy? Microscopy is not a not a instrument. It's it's a science basically. It's a broad term. So I would say. It is a science of investigating these small objects. So, in the simple, simple, in the simple, simplest uh, term that I can explain this, uh, this, term, this basic, this, this concept is the science of investigating these small objects. So, science means understanding the concept, understanding the mechanism, understanding uh, the principle, and all. This, this includes all the techniques, everything that we are doing with the microscopes. So that's why we are calling it a science of investigating the, the small objects. And when, when we talk about small objects, means the objects we cannot see with the nectites, so, so nectites means the details, specifically what are the features present in those objects. Uh, our, eyes has a, uh, our eyes have a limited resolution resolution power so we cannot see the objects beyond that limit so we need instruments so those instruments are the microscopes so we can say microscopes are basically the instruments for viewing these small objects and again the objects are are those which are too small to see to be seen by the naked eye and in this one we are talking about micrometer objects so basically, if we are try, trying to even even uh, see those objects, our eye, eyes, they are not going to resolve these objects. So first important contribution that was made by Rob Turk, uh, and he published his results in the publication Micrographia, where he was exploring the plant, plant material, he was exploring the animal material under his microscope, and he, he has designed a sophisticated microscope uh, that was the Robert Hooke microscope where uh, he investigated uh, the, as I've already told you, the plant material. And inside that, that material, what he found that there were compartments, different uh, sections inside that plant material. He was able to visualize those and he called those sections as the cell. So from, from where today we have the term cell we use the term for plant cell animal cell bacterial cell so that cell came from the first observation by robert hook so this is the you know, inside the circle you can see the plant plant uh, material he was observing and then he found out that those compartments next the dutch tradesman antony van leeuwenhoek he investigated the science of microscopy in so much detail he investigated so many materials and he has uh, basically um, drawn the, the sketches of different types of material and he used highly, highly convenient, uh, a very simple design of the, the microscope. And as you can see, he has a flat uh, metal you know, sheet where he 
attach the sample holder he attached he fixed the sample holder with with a long uh, uh, long metal tube which he can like move up and down then he has a small sample holder in front of that uh, on the metallic sheet he has the lens so I, i'm sure that you have seen this microscope and i want you to again look at the engineering part of that microscope it's very tiny but it's very very simple and uh, you'll see that the way he has designed it's very very convenient you just put the sample and in front of that you have a lens and you can you can change the focus focal uh, length of the uh, so basically you can change the distance between the length and the uh, sample up and down back and forth so this is how it was engineered and and this is this uh, this was the uh, you know Anton Wynn Leeuwenhoek microscope please go through uh, the literature and find it out see the image of this um, Antony van Leeuwenhoek microscope and just see you know the microscope today we have in the lab they are highly uh, huge in size and you know the resolving power I think it's not that much higher than the Leeuwenhoek microscope so I don't know why you know where uh, we missed that and we designed a sophisticated a huge setup uh, where the resolving power is basically similar to the Antony van Leeuwenhoek microscope. So, anyways, if we can if we can de design redesign this uh, material and come up with something more convenient, which can be attached to a cell phone camera, so it will be very very convenient and it's a new design. Anyways, but at that particular time, he was able to construct this. He was not an engineering, he was not an engineer, engineer, he was not a scientist. He was just the, the tradesman. But curiosity in his mind uh, was, was able to force him to design something sophisticated like that. And he was, he was a businessman, so he was more focused on the quality. So you can see the product as highly innovative product is um, you know it's working great he was able to uh, observe things after that what he what he has uh, done is basically analyze a lot of different types of samples and he you know he came up with the the word of micro microbiology uh, and to everyone so that's why now he, he has you know he has been rewarded with the title father of microbiology Anyway, so you can see there are so many things that we can learn about this particular technique, how image is, uh, is being formed, how image can be, can be uh, improved, uh, and what is the mechanism, what is the science behind the image formation, uh, what, is, what is the, uh, the tools and techniques of uh, microscopes, what are the different types of microscopes. So I'll try to make videos on uh, all these things. So I hope that this, this video uh, series is going to help you to understand the basics of microscopy and uh, if you if you like these videos then please do subscribe to the channel and um, also share these videos with your friends I'll, I'll see you in the next video where we will discuss more um, concepts related to the basics of microscopy till then take care